Well, Charlene's going out with Scott. I'm not going out with Jason, however. I still love you. I've actually known Jason since I was 12. We did the first thing either of us ever did on television, which is a, a, um, a series called Skyways, which was a flop. <laughs> I wouldn't say really following in the, the footsteps, but sure, yeah, I've, I've signed a record contract deal with a, a company called Mushroom in Australia. And uh, I'm sort of following that up at the moment, and uh, we could be doing a few things here, actually. What's the matter? Dunno, the fuel seems to be okay. Great, so we're gonna have to paddle all the way back to shore. I hate to tell you this, guys. What? We used the oars for the shots this morning, remember? They're back on the beach. What? <gasps> Ooh, welcome, Jason and Kylie, back to going live. How can you leave us like that? <laughs> like a cliffhanger. Oh. Are you all right? I think we survive. I think. Well, I'm not there's an element of danger. Yeah. But yeah. it's lovely to see you both Thank you. back again. You had a very busy day yesterday recording the uh, Children's Royal Variety mm -hmm. performance. How did it go? It was great. As mm. you say, it is a really long day. You're there from like 9 o'clock in the morning till 11 at night and rehearsing and rehearsing. But it was good. It went really well. Lots of fun. Lots of people. Lots of the kids were fantastic. Yeah, so the much kids fun were great. to work off, you know a great sort of buzzing audience, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun. Did you get to meet our Young Entertainer of the Year? Yeah, he's gorgeous, little Stuart. Yeah. Stuart mm. Anderson, that's right. We actually did some, we did some photos with him and he was, he was <laughs> sitting there, he was quite tired by the end of the day and he, he was, was sort yawning. of going, Ooh. Well, he, like he'd only really just got over chicken pox, he'd yeah. had chicken pox about three weeks really? earlier. Really? And he was great on the show last week, he did his little song again yeah. for us when he heard that he was the winner. And then to meet guys like you and to go along and do the Royal Variety Force has been great. Mm. Now, there's a, there's a, one of those uh, erroneous reports in the press this morning that you said that you had some pictures taken with Stuart, but mm. uh, those are the ones that you wanted used. Well, the, the trouble is that photographers think they can do anything, and um, we're only trying to protect our own rights um, as artists, because I'm sure the kids here buy a lot of magazines, like Kylie and Jason magazines, and a lot of them we've got nothing to do with, so they're really horrible pictures and probably full of lies. So you're not actually buying what we're giving With, to you. S sorry, that I just wanted to show you. There we are. This is the lovely picture. I just want to. Can I just show the lovely picture? Lovely. This is this is this is fab. This is fab. Can you see this? This is. There we are. Yeah. There's little Stuart. Yes, that's the one. With Jason and Kylie. There we are. He's fantastic. There. I bet he enjoyed yeah, that. Yeah, that's did. great. Yeah. Well, we have got masses of questions lined up on the phones, masses of questions in the studio here. Let's start with the phones, shall we? Uh -huh. And uh, go Whoops. to. Oh, I'm just not getting uh -huh. <laughs> Just not getting here. So I'm glad it's the last one because now they can't put that together in all the outtakes. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> line one. Who's on line one? Hello. 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 Who are you? Claire Wilson. Hi, Claire. What's your question? Um, how do you feel when you read untrue stories about yourself in the newspapers? Oh, what? well, there's a ripper in the paper this morning, Big Head Kylie, which is really charming. Um, I, I'd like to say that it doesn't affect me at all, but I try not to, well, I try not to read it for one thing. Um, and then if I do read it and it's untrue, I try to ignore it. That's, I think, the best thing you can do. I think the thing is, if you don't actually buy it in the first place, that's the ultimate power. I know, it? well, really? they're not really worth buying some of them. <laughs> OK, thanks very much for your question, Claire. Now I think we've got another Claire. Yes, we have. Another Claire. Where's your... Where, where, which, is, which, which is Claire? There you are, right there, holding the record for me. Thank you very much indeed. Go ahead, Claire. Do you think it's your music or your personalities that actually sell your records? I'd say a bit of both. I think you can have all the personality in the world, but if you don't have a good song, you won't get anywhere. It's like a film. If you've got to have the basis of a good script, I think. I think yeah, I think I think uh, also the fact is too the kids and everybody out there can actually pick up on whether you're genuine and whether you enjoy your work. And I, I think if you're going to go into a job or you're going to be working in something, um, you might as well enjoy what you're doing. And if you enjoy what you're doing, the public are going to feel that they through can through tell. the they can tell, they can pick it up. And I think that's one reason why Neighbours is is so successful is because everybody loves 
a really tight job. cast yeah. and we had fun working together. Yeah. Neighbours? Definitely because um, it allowed people to to uh, identify with us and get to know us first so they feel comfortable with us or with our characters and then hopefully feel comfortable with us so I think it did well it did help yeah mm. let's go back to the phones now who's on line two hello 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 Lindsay, Lewis, hello, Lindsay. what's your question um, do you think you're going to get married in real life <laughs> Well, well, are you? <laughs> I think, I mean, to each other, or do you mean to anybody else, Lindsay? <laughs> to each other. Uh, well, I don't think so. Kylie and I, we've actually worked together for a long time, and uh, we've been really good friends. I suppose, the, as we were saying before, the press tend to, to beat up stories that, that we're actually going at, where we're more than in, in than what we do on television. Well, you play um, well, brother and sister, Yeah, we, you? we've mm. known each other for about seven or eight years. I've lost count. I'm but not... I think I'll get married, I just don't know who to. No. <laughs> and do you think yeah, you'll get married? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get married one day. Don't know when, I'm only 20 at the moment, so... I know, I, I think really this is the problem with having played the parts and people get so involved in your characters mm. that they just can't separate you. Yeah, I think, life. I mean, I think that's probably, you know, it's obviously the characters have worked so well that people tend to believe that it's more than what it is on, on, uh, on television than yes. it is on television. Let's take it as a compliment, really. Yeah. Thank you very much for that, Lindsay. Jane, what's your question? Um, what do you think is the biggest drawback of being a star? Um. Um. It's the downside <laughs> I guess, again I guess we're it's the, um, on. Yeah, although I think with everyone's job, I mean, we can complain and other people can complain, but... Um, we, as you say, try and look at the bright side of things. But I guess if you did have to find a downside of the job, it would be um, loss of private life and talking about the press that you really have no control over what they write. So uh, I think I think I think, just, yeah, I think also yeah. I think also like I mean you've got a res lot of responsibilities and and it, it would be silly to to say for example go out some nights when you really feel like going out or something like that and stay out till you know, go out to a party or whatever and then have to get up really early the next morning and be looking fantastic and really bubbling. Just put and lots of makeup yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. I suppose. Let's go back to the phones. Yep. Who's on line three? Hello. 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 This is Kelly. Hello, Kelly. Um, what? I'd like to ask, do you think people are influenced to buy your records because you're in neighbours? I don't think it dis de detracts, I guess, is the word. Uh, I suppose that's the word. Yeah, I think it, it, certainly, it certainly helps. I mean, the, the thing is, I suppose, for especially for you, was a great example because we, one reason why we, we thought that it would be nice to do that record too is to sort of prove that it would work other than England and Australia. And, and it has worked in sort of other countries. Um, in Japan and and, uh, and right. Germany and throughout Europe mm. and and it just goes to show that it it, it, it doesn't necessarily need neighbours to to succeed and I suppose that's a, a result of Stock Ake and Waterman too. They're yeah, but I think writers. if we're if 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 put your cards on the table about it, if they do complement each oh, other. Oh sure, yeah. I mean, I think yeah. if Jason, if J if you had come out with um, heavy metal record, yeah. it wouldn't have complemented no, your no, character. No. In the in the series, but and that's the same for you, Kylie. I mean, mm. not that you do a heavy metal record. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? That's the, that's the way I think the guys write so well is that they can key in on personalities and work around the personality to suit the, the sound that they're actually mm. making. Okay, let's stay with the phones now. Thank you for that call, and let's go to line four. Hello. 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 Helen. Hello, Helen. Hello. What's your question? Um, after everything that's happened, what's what ambitions do you have left? What ambitions? Oh, what ambitions? Ah, oh, well, I've got lots of ambitions. I'd like to, um, well, I'm going, about to do my first movie and... Uh, Tell us about that, Kelly. Oh, well, it's called The Delinquents and I'm actually flying home today, this morning, <gasps> to um, Queensland to start rehearsals for the, for the, the movie. And um, I'll be releasing a second album in July, so I'm looking forward to that as well. And things like just generally, generally trying to learn more about the industry that I'm in, and you know, having family, and uh, they're all ambitions as well. So I've got lots. What yeah, about you? I, I, I'm exactly the same, I suppose. I, I'd like to further my acting, I guess. I've only just recently uh, left Neighbours in that sense, so I, I'd like to to develop in that. But at the moment, I, I'm concentrating on singing. I've got. Um, the album coming out in, in about a month, less than a month, I think it's in May, 
And so I'm going to be concentrating on that for the next sort of six months and, and working throughout London and, and Europe and various sort of places promoting that. So two, I'm looking forward to it. Two very busy people. Yeah. Who never run out of ambitions. Thanks for that call. We've got so many questions, so many calls, never enough time to get through them. We have to go to the competition next. Uh -huh. You brought in some, uh, some great prizes here. Albums, of course, and we've got some pickies before I <laughs> before I knocked some, everything over. Isn't one prize like a white? That's I guess that's yeah. It for the I white think they they're, they're giving away a um, uh, pressing of like the first. I don't know how they describe it actually. I think when they put it into a particular mould, um, it starts off there as an initial, and then it's it reproduces the copies of the, the, the album the, from the there. Initial the pressing initial pressing of pressing. it. Right. So that's that's, so that's a collector's away. item, really. Yeah. And I think mm. we've got a sweatshirt to go with this, and a big poster as well. Yep. So what's the question? Um, well, in our film clip, especially for you, there is a bridge, and what bridge is it? What's in Australia, in Sydney. Oh, We're giving things away. No, 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 I'm not giving it away. I'm not. Well, Chris, I think I could just about get that by now. Yes. Well, and it starts with what's the bridge? Well, it's what's the bridge <laughs> featured in especially for you in I'm the video? I'm giving people hints and trying to trying to You're help people. Just a people. good, kind yeah, boy. I'm trying a good to help answers on a postcard, please. To going live, BBC TV Centre, London W12 8QT. Kylie, safe journey home. Thanks very Thanks. much for coming in. Jason will be seeing you later well, on this sure. morning. Yep. And uh, by the way, all this week's competitions are being picked out on Friday the 21st of April on Children's BBC. In the meantime, let's have a look at Kylie's new video and single, Hand on Your Heart.
Put your hand on your heart. Can yes, we... Kylie from the Pogue. Oh, Kylie Minogue. Minogue. Well, blow it then. What? Your nose. No, Kylie Minogue. <laughs> Neighbours. What, has she just moved in or what? Oh. <laughs> Kylie's going to join us with one of our songs in the singing corner. Oh, good. feel good. Stefan says that it's singing and not acting that's always been his passion. He started doing gigs with his brother when he was 14. In fact, the first time Kylie Minogue recorded Locomotion in Australia, it was in a duet with Stefan. He's coming to the UK in July to start recording his debut album. Let's start off with uh, a colleague of his, Jason. Tell me what you think of the song and what um, you think of the video. I, yeah, I, I sort of, I know Stefan very well, of course. He plays my brother in the show. Um, and I, I actually heard the version of this in Australia, which wasn't as dance orientated as maybe they've done a remix right. for London. But um, yeah, the video's good and the song's good, so I thought I'd give it three on both accounts. Three and three, okay. Yeah. Nice diplomatic sort of vote. Yeah, yeah. so that's six out of a, a potential ten now, then from Stefan for, for, for Jason for Stefan. Mm. Barbara. Well, now listen, I'm a bit confused about this. I mean, I like the beat. We were all tapping our feet. I like that, the drum beat, good voice. Now, when it comes to the video, I was confused because I'm of a generation. I thought they had to tell you the same story. So I thought at first he was coming off a night shift from somewhere, <laughs> then walking through the ladies' changing room. And I kept thinking, what has this got to do with making him feel good about... The... So... Um, <laughs> uh, uh, apart from that, I, I mean, that's just a silly old-fashioned idea, isn't it? Well, but, no, because it's, it's, but it's your valid it, point. Right, well, I'm so, what, so what marks would you give the song first? All, the song, right. oh, three. Three, three out of the song, okay. Three the song. And what and about the video? Uh, two. Is that two, all right? right? That's yes. five out of ten from Barbara. <laughs> Steve, die laughing. Yes. Um, well, I'm not dying laughing at the moment, but I'm not going to be too nasty. <laughs> uh, the only thing about this is since I do watch Neighbours, I know the character he plays, and it's a bit of a sort of yuppie, sort of stiff-collared, bad-tempered person. Yeah. And I'm having, called the JR, hasn't yeah, he? The JR yeah, of Neighbours. I'm having a bit of a problem transferring to his sort of, sort of rough rock and roll image on this one. Yeah. And I think as far as the video is concerned, it's very, yeah, technically, it's very slowly cut. There's very... It's not much life in it, really, considering it's a sort of up track. It is. What, what marks found, for the video, then? I think I'd uh, probably give it three bits on one for the video. OK, four out of ten from Steve. Joe, what do you what do you make of this? Um, well, I thought the song would glow on you, because it's quite catchy. Yeah. Um, I don't like his voice, though. Oh, no, don't you? <laughs> no. But okay. I give the song four. Four out of five for the song? Yeah, mm, that's quite video, generous. Um, I'll give it two, because I think it's pretty boring, actually. Right, OK, so that's six from you. Thanks, Joe, for the minute. We'll be back to you in a second. So we have got us 21 for Stefan Dennis for Don't 